Hello and welcome to the International Daily Roundup by People's Dispatch, where we bring you some of the top stories from around the world. Let's take a look at today's headlines. Brazil's COVID-19 Senate Committee prepares to indict Jair Bolsonaro on 11 charges. Four Egyptian officers go on trial in Italy for the murder of researcher Giulio Regini. Over 400 Palestinians launch hunger strike against conditions in Israeli prisons. One killed and several wounded in latest Israeli airstrike in Syria. A Senate committee is gearing up to indict Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro for his mishandling of the pandemic. Over 600,000 people have died due to COVID-19 and millions have been pushed into poverty. An estimated 19 million Brazilians are facing hunger. A Parliamentary Commission of Enquiry, or CPI, was appointed earlier this year to investigate Bolsonaro. After hearing the testimonies of 56 people over 163 days, the body will present its final report next week. Bolsonaro and top officials will face 11 charges, including crimes against life and corruption. Over 40 other people will also be indicted on charges, including embezzlement of public money. The CPI report will focus on the spreading of fake news, co-vaccine and hydrochloroquine. Bolsonaro urged people to take chloroquine in spite of evidence which showed that it was ineffective. Healthcare provider Senior Health also used so-called COVID kits which had drugs with unproven efficacy. The company has over 500,000 customers and its owners are Bolsonaro supporters. As reported by The Wire, a senior health hospital forged a study to show that hydrochloroquine was effective. This was despite the fact that medical records showed that it may have led to patients' deaths. Bolsonaro also lobbied Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to secure materials for chloroquine. Irregularities in a $300 million co-vaccine deal between the two countries will also be included in the CPI report. In our next story, the trial of four Egyptian officers accused in the murder of Italian researcher Giulio Regini began on 14th October. The proceedings will take place at a high court in Rome. Three members of Egypt's National Security Agency and one member of Cairo's investigative police force are on trial. All four are facing kidnapping charges. One of the accused, Major Magdi Abdelal Sharif, is also facing charges of grievous body harm and aggravated murder. The trial is taking place over five years after 20-year-old Regini was killed. A PhD student at Cambridge University, he was researching independent trade unions in Egypt. He was abducted on January 25th and found dead nine days later. His body showed extensive signs of torture. Italian prosecutors have said that he was followed for 40 days before his abduction. Egypt has denied the allegations and dropped its own investigation into the murder in 2020, citing insufficient evidence. Egypt has also refused appeals by Italian prosecutors for the legal residence of the four accused. The trial in Rome will proceed in absentia. The court will also decide if the absence can be deemed voluntary. The Italian Prime Minister's office will be a civil party to the trial and four ministers will testify. In our next story, over 400 Palestinian prisoners have launched a hunger strike against the brutal conditions in Israeli jails. Officials have escalated punitive and collective punishment measures since the Gilboa prison break. The six recaptured Gilboa escapees were also subjected to extreme torture during interrogation. As per reports, Israel has imposed financial fines and a two-month ban on family visits and canteen access. It has also deprived them access to personal belongings, including pillows and warm clothes. Gilboa escapee Mohammed Arda went on hunger strike last week to protest these conditions. The open-ended mass strike is part of a resistance program by the Prisoner's National Emergency Committee. Most of the people taking part are members of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad group. They have reportedly also submitted a list of their demands to the prison officials. These include an end to the forcible separation and transfer of prisoners. They have also demanded that prisoners being held in solitary confinement be released. They have also called for an end to Israel's draconian policy of administrative detention. 
around 500 Palestinians are being held under this kind of detention without charge or trial. And for our final story, we go to Syria, where Israel conducted renewed airstrike on October 13th. At least one Syrian soldier was killed and three others were wounded in the central province of Homs. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights has stated that the total number of fatalities stand at four. The Syrian Arab News Agency, or SANA, stated that several other missiles have been successfully intercepted. The attack took place around 11.30 p.m. local time on Wednesday. It targeted areas near Palmyra and destroyed a communications tower. SANA has claimed that the attack were launched from an illegal U.S. military base in Al Tanf. It was set up in 2016 without the permission of the Syrian government. Wednesday's attack was the second such strike in less than a week. Six Syrian soldiers were wounded in an attack near the T4 base on October the 8th. Israel has carried out hundreds of airstrikes in violation of international norms. It often uses Lebanon's airspace to launch these attacks despite repeated complaints by the government to the United Nations. That's all for today. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel, visit our website at www.peoplesdispatch.org and follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Thank you.